I don't think you're supposed to do what I'm about to do, but I just do not care anymore. It is primary voting day in South Carolina 2024. I actually reject the silent majority. It is time for us to be vocal of increased volume with accountability. That's why I'm filming my vote today. I got a comment yesterday, but will all of you vote? You say you support, but when it comes time to vote, you don't actually do it. At least myself, I'm working towards changing the narrative. I'm going out and voting. Let's go. This will actually be my fourth lifetime vote for Donald Trump. I was 18 just in time for 2016. Voted for Trump in the 16 primary, obviously the main election, the 2020 main election, and number four right here, the 2024 primary. And you know what? I view it as an honor. I will be, <laughs> I will be 30 years old. I'll be in my 30s by the time I vote for anyone else other than Donald Trump. And I'm honored that that is my truth, as the liberals would say. All right, what are we looking at today? We've got a line again, but it's not ridiculous, you know? Look at all these people ready to vote. Let's go, baby. It's in the kitchen area. Uh, Which way is the kitchen? Yeah. And here's just information because they do hold a hearing. But okay, here's the deal. I voted. Uh, if that didn't look like what you thought it was going to look like, I had to vote on a provisional ballot because for some reason my childhood address was still in their system. It doesn't match my driver's license address because I've moved. I bought a house. Um, I bought a house in the same county that I grew up in, same city that I grew up in. So it's kind of weird. This says, um, the Board of Voter Registration and Elections of York County will hold a hearing to determine whether your provisional ballot will be counted in the results of this election. There's a hearing location and time. I'm going to, I'm going to go to this, even if nothing more than just to experience and learn more about our political process. Not that it really is gonna matter. I think Donald Trump is going to beat Nikki Haley in her own state by a significant margin. But I'm a little bit old school. I want to lay my own eyes on what happens here at the end of February. So I'm gonna go to this. Before you all leave this video, I've got to show you one more thing. This is astounding. Many of you are new viewers from my upload yesterday. 168,000 views in 24 hours. Are you guys kidding me? This is ridiculous and climbing. Thank you all for showing support in the comments of these videos. I didn't expect it at all. I've been doing YouTube on this channel for a few years now. I've never had a video upload even hit 10,000 views before. To go from what I'm used to to this is incredible. A little more about me. I left university after one year at a liberal arts college. I don't have fellowship with any of my extended family anymore. I've even been abandoned many times by friends and my wife, my wife has experienced bec because of me, the same thing. The maid of honor in our wedding doesn't communicate with us, you know, doesn't want any association with us because of me, because she's the type of person that, you know, like my lack of posting a black square on Instagram made her question my character, even though she knew me for years already, she's that kind of person. I think a lot of y'all watching this might relate to that on some level. It has boosted my spirits seeing all these comments on yesterday's video, and not everybody's gonna get instant internet interactions to make them feel like they're not alone, but use me, take me as an example. We are not alone, my friends. No matter what it is you've sacrificed in your personal life in this political era of the United States, just know you are not alone. We are a well-intentioned people and we are justified in our thought processes and our belief systems, period. I'm a 26 year old American. I choose to be optimistic about my future. I think I've got a long one. I hope you'll subscribe to be a part of my journey. If you choose not to, I think you're gonna be seeing more of me anyway. I will see you next time on Welty.